Well, winter's over here in the northeast, I guess. At least we hope so. But it looks like a little mouse might have been trying to... Hey, Remington. Come here. Do you think a mouse is trying to get in that? Oh. No? Nothing more of the while? No? All right. Oh, oh, oh. Don't eat it. Looks like maybe a mouse was trying to load up in there for the winter. But what we're after here today is the uh, lady is stating that it leaks gas. I'm going to say that the, uh, the seal on the oil cap is also bad. Uh, oh well. Let's see if we can get it fixed up. Uh, it doesn't look like there's a whole lot of oil spraying around there, but you can see the bottom of that base casket. It's weeping pretty good. That's where all the dirt's collecting at. Um, looks like blowing a lot of dust. Uh, a lot of dirt. <clears throat> we'll take that off there. It does pull over, so we'll take that off and uh, clean the carburetor up real quick. Yeah, we don't have a, uh, there isn't too much dirt inside this carburetor, but you can tell uh, that they're using uh, gas with alcohol in it and leaving it sit for long periods of time. That's how you end up with this slime. Uh, <clears throat> ow, my knee. Ow, my knee. That slime actually, when it turns into a gel, then makes it hard to pass through uh, the pickup and the, uh, uh, into the emulsion tube or the jet and uh, out the carburetor or out of the intake. Um, we'll clean this up. It's not too bad. It's still salvageable. And uh, the fuel line, you know, and this is pretty problematic. One of the biggest downsides of uh, having ethanol on your gas is just that the fuel lines become brittle. Uh, <clears throat> something to consider when you're uh you're you're you know filling up at the gas station uh put some stable in there you know i'll put a i'll put a link in this video for the stable uh that i use and as bob vila says in his uh long-winded article which i'll also post uh below this video you should uh fill your tank up you should put the stable in at the uh, the gas station and uh and then uh into the gas can that you are planning to use for uh, your uh, your power equipment, lawn equipment, snow blower, pressure washer, whatever you're gassing up. Uh, most two-stroke equipment comes with uh, you know stable or some type of stabilizer already in it. So uh, we're just gonna clean this up real quick, put a new piece of fuel line on here, and hopefully we'll be good to go. Uh, I'm gonna check the needle before. Let me do that right now, actually. We'll check the, the rubber seat on this uh, needle. Oh, it's a uh, rubber seat in there and not on the needle. Uh, doesn't look completely damaged yet. Actually looks like it's, actually looks almost like someone replaced it recently, but um, yeah, we'll clean it up, we'll get it going. Put a little piece, a new piece of uh, hose on there. This, I think I pointed this out already, but when they're trying to pull these off, sometimes that, fortunately they rip. I probably could have cut that and fabric cobbled it a little bit in there. Uh, but I had some new line laying around, so 